Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new episode of the Rugby 20 League Mode Journey with Wasp. Today it is part 6 and today, first off, we will play against Leicester Tigers. That is followed by, on match day 8, should really know this, we're playing Sale Sharks. So, looking at where they are, we've got Sale Sharks just below us in ninth, so could potentially be a good result. Um, and Tigers are in 4th, so we're a little bit of the underdog, but they consider us to have the better chance in this game. Now, there hasn't been an episode for a few days, which I really apologise for, but sometimes work takes over, unfortunately, and because of that, you might notice that this series isn't going to be a daily series, because I just haven't got the time for that. So what I'm hoping to do is have a schedule for this series, at least for the next few weeks, to bring out episodes on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So you have your double dose on the weekend, and then two doses um, in the week. That's basically because I just haven't got the time to do daily stuff. Those of you that do work will absolutely understand that, I hope. And I'm doing a degree part-time with work as well. So, time isn't exactly on my side sometimes when it comes to things like this. But, um, today we'll play against Leicester Tigers and against Sale Sharks. And, of course, we had an absolutely fantastic episode last time out. And the support of you guys was absolutely immense. You guys were really excited that we went and beat Exeter. Um, unfortunately, we only drew um, against Saints. But we are starting to move up in the league. At least we haven't got to scroll down ridiculously now to actually get to us. Although it is pretty tight at the bottom. There's only four points between Bath in 6th and uh, Worcester down in 12th. So it's a really tight league. But another win against Tigers today, pardon me, would uh, really do the world, world a good in my opinion. So let's see if we can do it. We've got Tigers first um, and then South Sharks afterwards. So at least one win out of this episode has to be something that we're going for. Um, but shall we get into the first match? Let's do it. Before we start, though, let's even get 15 likes this episode. I understand that the the craze of the game has run out a little bit now because it's been out for a week and a half. But I reckon we can still sustain 15 likes. So if you go on to enjoy this, please go and leave a like. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us for this match, which will be a contest between Leicester and Wasps. Ben Kay is joining me for the commentary. Good to see you, Ben. Good evening, Nick. It's a beautiful day for rugby, and I think this pool match should be a cracker. When you look at their lineups, it's obvious that Leicester and Wasps are relatively equal. Absolutely. These two sides are each capable of countering the other. It's really hard to tell them apart just by looking at the statistics, but fortunately, Nick, everything's going to be played out on the pitch this evening. Well, you heard what they said. It's going to be a tight match. That means we've got to take our opportunities when they come and go beat Leicester Tigers. Ultimately, a very good side and have started the pool matches off well. But we're starting to get some momentum. You know, we didn't do too well at the start, but we are starting to get some momentum together. And hopefully today we can have another win. I mean, it's not on my side the fact I haven't played the game for a few days, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. But hopefully that won't be to our detriment in this game. Shall we get on with it? Let's do just that. Leicester will take the kickoff. And we are off for the first match of today's episode. Of course, it goes without saying that uh, we'll have two matches in today's episode. We'll have this match uh, and then the next match, obviously, in the, in the, uh, in the pool. But we're off fairly well. Fekatoa gets challenged there, but not much momentum being built by either side yet. I mean, we're only three minutes into the game, so I wouldn't worry about that. But Ross Neal, classic run down the wing, and he beats the man, but... He slowed down just about enough so they can get a challenge on him. But great uh, ground made up there by the man himself. Gaskell, oh, can't quite play it across. And that would have been a great opening potentially for Marcus uh, Watson to do his thing on the wing. But quite dangerous play already from Leicester. And, uh, I mean, that's disgusting, to be quite honest. Um, we're going to go for a scrum. We're going to go for a scrum. Try and move the ball forward a little bit and actually get it out to the wingers. As always, I mean, we've got a lot better over the first five episodes. If you go back to part one, you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, let's just make sure that this goes in correctly. I, I struggle with the scrums a little bit. We got a little bit better at them, but uh, it seems it's a little bit harder than we'd expect. But we're doing okay now. Just got to focus on doing both things at once, pushing it forward and also following the circle. As uh, any females watching all know, men can't exactly multitask, so wouldn't worry about that. But, out to... Oh, come on, Gopuff. I mean, that was a waste of time. That was a real waste of time in the end, because we didn't make any ground up at all. Fekatoa to Gaskell. Oh, not quite. See what we were trying to do, though, there. Got some great room out on the wing. De Jong. Gopuff. Gopuff's got this. Fekatoa. Back into Willis. Toomger Allen. Launch break. Gaskell. Oh, not quite out to the wing to Ross Neal, or else that would have been a really good opening for us. Back out again, Launchbury. Willis. Young. 
Back out to Watson. That's lovely play. Watson to Gopeth. Oh, I mean, at least we've kept the ball. That's uh, some good stuff there. De Jong, we're really controlling this now. Fekatoa out to Toon Allen. Oh, I mean, someone said in the comments that Toon Allen's a prop. Therefore, he can't run very fast. But that was a real shame. Ross Neal just tried to cut inside. Because the worst thing that could happen after that is for it to go out for their line out. De Jong, get this ball past. Oh, gutting that he couldn't. Because we definitely had some room. If so, there. Gopeth. Fekatoa. Tim Grallon. We don't want him on the ball. We don't want him on... Oh, for goodness sake. This can't seem to do anything. He must be a good prop, but, uh, I mean, he can't really do much else at the moment. So I might be picking on him unnecessarily. But, uh, yeah, we really had a chance there. De Jong, Willis, all the way out. Well, all the way out to Ross Neal, but luckily they've lost their advantage. Um, and we're going to actually take a penalty kick here. Take a penalty kick. Um, and just put it in their goal mouth, to be honest. I know that it's usually better to kick it into touch. Um, but they're going to just get a kick anyway, aren't they? That might have been a little bit of a silly decision there, you know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that one through, unfortunately. Oh, well. We got the ball back straight away. Taylor. Oh, come on, Watson. Oh, well. It's their line out. And uh, we're starting to be a little bit sloppy here. Nowhere near that, though, unfortunately. And uh, for the first time in this 20-minute period, they've got the ball. But that's snapped out pretty quickly. By Willis. We might have to increase difficulty at some point. I'm not sure. But uh, it's not like we're walking games at the moment. So I'm not too bothered about that. Ross Neal gets clattered straight away. Because it was a long range pass. And uh, obviously they had a lot of time to get a man over there. Gopeth. De Jong. Fekatoa. Whoever that is. Gaskell. Oh, I can't quite get it out to the winger. We've got to have enough uh, option ultimately. Rather than just getting it out to the wingers. Because well, you're not going to get anywhere if you're doing just that, are you? You know, it's just one tactic and they'll find you out pretty quickly with that sort of tactic. But seems to be working at the moment. I can't argue with that. I'm going to remove the ball and just put it out to the right. Tim Grallon. Ross Neal's there. We can make a lot of ground up here. Ross Neal. Ross Neal still just the one man to meet, beat. We could have gone risky and gone all the way over on the wing. But if they took us out and this went out for a line out, well, that would have been a complete chance wasted. But I feel... That we have a chance to potentially take the lead here before half time. Tim Grallon <laughs> just can't get it out, bless him. Oh, really unfortunate there because Marcus Watson again would have had a real chance. Willis to Gaskell, out to Ross Neal. Can't quite beat the man. They're defending well, the discipline defending here from Leicester Tigers, but we have really had this first half, it has to be said. Well, the real advantage here. Willis, Young, Ross Neal, cars on the wing this time. He hasn't got the he hasn't quite got the speed, but that doesn't really matter. Make up a little bit of ground there. Gopeth, De Jong, back to Zephaniah. Zeph I don't know what his name is. It's certainly not Zephaniah, is it? Dekatoa, Gaskell, Tim Garallan. He's got room to make the pass now, for goodness sake. Marcus Watson gets past one, can't quite get past two, but we're getting there. A few minutes left of the half, and most of the half just been spent on this move. To be quite honest, Gaskell, Tech gets to that. Oh come on. Don't know what our player was doing there. Should have got to that easily. But very nice stuff. Can we win the ball back in the rook? We certainly can. Gopeth. De Jong. Can't quite make the pass. I think we're going to keep going here. Because you don't know whether the, we will get a better opportunity than this in the second half. Marcus Watson just can't quite make the move. I have to say that kick we had earlier and put it in their goal mouth was just a little bit silly. Because that was the best chance we'd had um, of the game so far. Tim Grallon can't quite get it out. But it's dangerous play from Tom Youngs. And we now have a chance... Um, to rectify that. I don't want to kick for goal because <laughs> that's always a disaster. Um, I think we go for a scrum. If you tap and go, you're susceptible to them bullying you straight away. But I think if we get a good scrum, make up some ground, um, and we fight for a few minutes before the half, I reckon we might be able to get something before half time. Let's see. In complete control of this scrum. No problem with it at all. Got 20 seconds just to push it forward. Keep pushing it forward. It's only little steps we're making up, but it's all little steps towards the goal that Leicester can't do anything about for now. Got 10 seconds. We might as well use the time. But uh, we're going to put it out now. Got, I think, for goodness sake. What happened there? We've just lost all the ground we made up. Watson luckily makes a lot of it back up. But yeah, I mean, that seems to be a bit of a waste of time. Don't know why that's happened from the scrum. If you can enlighten me, please do. Um, Fekatoa. 
can't quite get it out. I still feel we've got a chance here, so I'm still going to keep going. There's no point giving the chance up. To Grell and to Ross Neal. Beats the one man. Can't quite beat two. You have to say that although they've been under some immense defensive pressure this half, um, that Leicester Tigers have really defended well. Vekatoa. Ball out to Gaskell. This could just be our chance. Gaskell can't quite make the pass. We tried to make as much ground as possible, and we couldn't quite do it. Gopov to De Jong. Vekatoa. Out to Ross Neal. Come on, son. You've got the speed. Cut inside. That should have really been a chance where he should have bolted and gone for it. Fekatoa. Makes him a little bit more room. We've got advantage of some dangerous play once again from then there. Look at the spice on this wing. If we could just get it out there with some quick passing. Leicester still not really took their advantage. Tim Grallon to Gaskell to Marcus Watson. Come on, son. Oh, we're just not quite doing it. Back out to the right. Gopeth, De Jong. We're getting closer, folks. I think we can do something before the half finishes. Gaskell, Vekatoa. Look at that room for Tim Grallon, but I'm not going to take the risk. Ross Neal, touchdown. And that is the try. It took us all half to get there. But it was Tim Grallon, the one who we criticised, who had the final pass. And with the combination of that pass and the sprint speed of Ross Neal, it wasn't the best place to score, but ultimately... Point to points. And I can tell you now, we're going to struggle with the conversion. Um, Josh X James said to stop the change of the conversion angle or else we won't score. Um, but let's see how we get on here. How's that looking? That's not too bad. It's there. Well, well, well. I said we definitely wouldn't score that, but we did. And that gave us a little bit of respite. Um, and we lead at half time against Leicester Tigers. Absolutely fantastic. They've had nothing of the ball so far. So I guess this is their first chance. As I've said, if uh, we keep winning matches like this without any real opposition, we might look to change difficulty. But that's a great ball, great start already to the half. Try and protect that ball. Advantage was though, it was a knock-on from Marcus Watson. I thought we were going to protect the ball, but Vekato just decided to run on with it. So they're going to take a scrum and start this second half. But a great start to the match for us. We lead. After half time. I mean, what's that man doing in the scrum now? I've got absolutely no idea. Just standing there. That must be a glitch. But look at that. It's fantastic. He's going to get trampled all over in a minute if he's not careful. Let's hook that and keep the ball forward. Keep it moving forward. We can get two tries ahead. That just takes that little bit of pressure off. Car to Gopeth. De Jong. Look at the space we've got on the wing. Fekker Tower. To Ross Neal. Just run for it, man. Run for it. I mean, we had a lot of ground up there. Really did. Back out to the left. Launch break. Gopov. Taylor. Gaskell. Tim Grallon. Is he there? Certainly is. Marcus Watson. I mean, the player just fell to sleep there. Oh, not quite. But look how close we are. Can't lose the ball here. Gopov. De Jong. Young. Oh, good space made up. Don't want to take a kick for goal because that'll only end badly. De Jong, Fekatoa, Gaskell. Come on, son. He's done it. He's done it. Come on. What a great start to the second half. Fantastic stuff. We're not going to take the goal score off yet because that just sounds so mean. But Laundry's going to come off for Matthews. Great stuff from the up game. Got it out. As you can see, their defence was all over the place. And the defender just went in front of the man. And although he was tackled, we still got the try. And we're not quite in control yet, but... We have a chance. Let's see how this one goes. Don't know if we got the power on this one. Oh, it's just a little bit wide. A little bit wide, and I don't think it quite got the power. But it's a good advantage. It's not quite two total tries. It's a little bit disturbing in my point of view. But we're ahead, and we've got a good advantage, and that's always a positive. Marcus Watson could have made a real run for it there, but they were wise to that. Car all the way out to Tim Grallon. What a lovely pass that was. Try and make sure they don't take the advantage now that they could have. Fekatoa, Gopov, look at the space we could have here on, out here on the wing. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen for us there. We've been in real control of this game. And we should, based off what's happening here, I suppose, should win it. But look at this. Look at this. Deary me, that was a poor pass. Just got a little bit too complacent there, I would argue. Tim Allen. Prepare the kicker, pass it behind, and just put the ball out a little bit. There we go. That takes the pressure off a little bit. 
Need to get it out of our area or else they can get within one try and all the good work we've done so far could be thwarted. But that being said, they've got the attack, so that means they haven't got many men back. So a counter attack could be the aim here if we can get out of this sticky situation. De Jong, Matthews, Takar. Mm, this is worrying. This is worrying. Marcus Watson. I mean, we are getting very close to the byline now, which is worrying me. Vekatoa. Gopeth. Gaskell. Tumgar Allen. I mean, we've just about got out of that. If that was a split second later, we'd have been tackled on the line. I think they'd have probably got the try. Gopeth. Out to De Jong. Carr. All the way out to Gaskell. Nice stuff. Watson. Can't quite beat the man. I'll tell you something. If you beat the man there, that would have been glorious. But we've got to be very careful though in a few metres of getting their first try of the match. So we've just got to withstand this little bit of pressure. We've uh, oh, avoided a defensive touchdown. I don't think we have. That means we've got a scrum here. But that might actually be for the best, you know. That might be for the best. Takes the pressure off just for a minute. Allows us to cool down. And get our defensive structure reformed. If we win this match as well. It'll be a great run. We beat uh, Exeter by the same amount. There's still 13 minutes to go here. I appreciate that. But this will be a great achievement. And we're really starting to get some momentum now. But if it gets too easy for us. I will always um, move the difficulty. Gopeth. To De Jong. Vekatoa. To Ross Neal. Come on, son. What a lovely run this could be. Ross Neal cuts inside. Can't quite beat the man there. But obviously that gets it out of all Im in imminent danger, if I can actually speak. Vekatoa. Tomb Allen. Oh, come on. Get that. Oh. Well, that's not great because they've got a line out now. And they could really take advantage of this, for goodness sake. But, again, we're under pressure. But we get the ball back. Nice. Willis. Not quite. We can we can afford to waste a little bit of time in the rooks here. Vekatoa. Not quite. The longer we bugger about in rooks, the shorter amount of time they've got to make any chance. Carr. Watson. To Matthews. Out to Taylor. Not the fastest man you want there, really. But it doesn't matter. Four minutes to go now. Just get to the 80-minute mark, and they can only bring it back to 7-12. Gaskell. Tim Allen. Ross Neal. Just go for a run on the wing, man. I mean, that was a great run. Great stuff. And only a few minutes left here. And if it gets to 80 minutes, we're simply just going to put this out for a line out and call it another fantastic win. But they might have something to say about that. We win the Rook. Put it straight out. Willis can't quite get it out for the moment. But simply just pass it out to the right. Ross Neal. Oh, that's advantage loss. It was a form of pass from Dan Robson. But it was a foul, which means that is the end of the game. And for the second right game running, we win by a scoreline of 12 to nil. Nothing from the opposition. Two tries, one conversion. And we take another solid amount of points home today. Obviously also get our defensive bonus for a clean sheet. And if we keep going like this, we're going to build a real solid foundation. We didn't start the league off well, but today we've won. And uh, we do face opposition below us next in Sale Sharks. We are going to be the favourite in that match. And hopefully we can use that to our advantage to get another... Brilliant win in today's episode. Good evening and thank you for joining us for this match between Wasps and Sale. I'm here with Ben Kay who will be keeping a keen eye on tonight's match. Good evening. Yes, this is one pool match that could well be decisive. Wasps could be in trouble tonight, Ben, don't you think? Well, not necessarily. When you look at the player statistics, you might think so. But I don't think they're that poor, frankly. They've also got a lot going for them. Wasps were formed in 1867 when the Hampstead... Is that generally the only commentary line they've got? I think in every part of Rugby 20 so far, Wasps were forming, blah, 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 blah. Well, some interesting narrative from the two commentators there. They think we could be in trouble, um, particularly uh, Nick Mullins there. But Ben Kay seems to think we've got a little bit going for us. Sal Sharks haven't started too brilliantly. Admittedly, I didn't, admittedly, I didn't look how they got on last week. Um, but I know we're above them in the table. Obviously, we won, so even if they won, it didn't really make a difference. But... League standings don't matter. This is a match between Wasps and Sale Sharks. And for the second match in this episode, we are go. Just the one rotational change for today. Brad, Brad Shields comes in um, to flanker, I think he comes in. I'm sure, sure it is. 
But uh, another good start to Young. Fekatoa out to Watson straight away. Some great ground made up there. Keep playing like we are. And we can really start to uh, do something in this league. But obviously don't get complacent. Tim Grallon. Not quite out to Ross Neal there. Willis. De Jong. Gopeth. To Carr. All the way out to Marcus Watson. Beats the man beautifully. Just one man to beat. He beats him, but as is always the case, you uh, beat the man, but ultimately he slows you down enough so that you can't get anything out of it. But a great start for us here and a good opportunity to do something. Marcus Watson, again, we're actually pulled back a little bit there. It was a risk to come back to that side, but I did fancy it, so that's why we did what we did. Gopuff. Fekatoa. They really don't want to concede an early try, so they're putting all the men to the back. You can't blame them. Tim Grallon. Out to Ross Neal. Ross Neal. Oh, can't quite beat the man. Getting very close to an early try here. That would really start to boost our supremacy. Fekatoa all the way out to Watson, but he's clattered straight into. Brad Shields. Good pass to him. Not quite. Fekatoa. Toon Allen. Oh, good stuff. Well... It's so a knock-on from uh, Tumagar Allen there, unfortunately. And that will give them whatever they want to do. Already a substitution from them, so it might be an injury on their side. But it's a scrum for South Sharks. Well, unfortunately for them, I think we've got the upper hand in the scrum. You know, if they'd have took a penalty kick and chucked it out 30 yards up the pitch, that might have been more our weakness. As long as you can't... Oh, actually, they're actually winning this, to be fair to them. Fair play to them. And that's more like it from South Sharks. But we win the ball back, obviously, because they've just kicked it and tried to make some ground up, which absolutely they have. But uh, it's our job to put them back to where they were. Launch break. Out to Marcus Watson. This work will help a little bit. Certainly will. And a uh, good ground made up there by our winger. Gopuff. Not quite pulls the pass off. De Jong. Fekatoa. Tim McGrallan. Gaskell. Final pass. Ross Neal. Look at the space he's got out on the wing. Can't quite beat the men. Well, to be fair, he did a bloody good job of trying there. But couldn't quite. Gopper to De Jong. Fekatoa to McGrallan. Gaskell. Oh, can't quite get the pass out to uh, Marcus Watson, unfortunately. Marcus Watson. They fell asleep there. They really have. Marcus Watson beats the man. Look how close we are to the try line now. Needs a little pass to the left or the right. Robson goes alone. Oh, he's lost the ball. That was silly. I did mean to just try and put it down there by clicking A. I don't know why I did that, because that's the pass button. But a real opportunity missed there, has to be said. Fekatoa. We are pushed back a little bit, but hopefully we get another opportunity soon. Gopuff. To McGrallan. Ross Neal. Ross Neal can definitely make some ground up here. Not quite there, but we're doing okay. Gopuff. De Jong. Carr. Shields. Can anybody get there? We're getting closer. And hopefully we can take the lead in this game. Fekatoa. Out to Marcus Watson. He can definitely do it this time. He can definitely do it. Come on. Come on. Get in. Marcus Watson gets his first try of the episode. And we lead against Sal Sharks. Took a while there. But Marcus Watson had to fend off a lot of defenders. Look at this. Fends off one. Two. And three. And he gets the try. Lining up the conversion to add the extra two. See how we get on with this. Anywhere near? Perfect. Got the conversion through Gopuff. And a uh, great start for us there. Absolutely brilliant. And we lead South Sharks by 7 to nil. I think what we need to do to prove we're really a contender is not just win by 10, 12. Is to really go and dominate a team like this. Prove that we are one of the best teams in the league. And that's what we've done so far. But we haven't quite got the scoreline to back that up at the moment. De Jong. Fekatoa. Toomger Allen. Gaskell. Not quite out to the winger Ross Neal. Tell you something. Putting those wingers in was the best thing we've ever done with this team. But uh, that's advantage for them apparently. Interesting. Seems he was the one who was clattered. But obviously something going wrong there. Advantage lost. This is a knock on by Neal. So that must have been what happened earlier. And uh, they're going to take a scrum. I don't think they get the hint that... Well, to be fair, actually, they did well in the scrum, didn't they, before? But we got the lead, and that's great. I mean, why are we doing substitutes while we're in the scrum? Goodness knows why. 
but uh, we're winning this one, it looks like, contrary to what happened last time. So we're just going to get this out straight away. I don't think there's any point messing about. Robson. Oh, this bloody, I have to say, the, it was, the passing wasn't working while we got the substitute screen up, but that is a mistake. But we're a lot more defensively aware now, I'd argue. Watson can't quite beat the man. Got five minutes left to the half. We can waste time here. Quite happy to. Waste a bit of time. Not make a silly mistake, obviously. Waste a bit of time and uh, put it out for a line out and that'll be half time. Gopeth does well. A few minutes to go now. Any two minutes to go. We've got 20 seconds if we want to argue like that. But Robson, well, that's a silly one. Don't know what, quite what happened there. But uh, you know exactly what we're going to do here. We're 39 minutes in. 40 now. And we don't want to concede a defensive touchdown, for goodness sake. So, Marcus Watson, just run that one out. For goodness sake. Go ahead and get the ball out ourselves. Prepare the kicker. Pass it behind. Put it out. And that's half time. And we lead for the second match in the row. At half time on this episode. Very strong showing once again. But let me know whether you think we can continue on this, whether it's just we are playing well at the moment, so we deserve the results, whether it might be time to give us a bit of a, more, a bigger challenge. This will be, will it be four on the bounce, love, wouldn't it be at least three? No, it would be three on the bounce, one, uh, and four on Binks, obviously we've got the draw in that uh, match against, who was it now? I can't remember who it was. It was the game before Exeter. can't remember quite remember who that was. But yeah, let me know down in the comments your opinions. You guys are always uh, great at giving me support, which is absolutely fantastic and really is invaluable. So every bit of support you guys give me is uh, really important. But let's just be careful that this doesn't turn into a, a try for Sal Sharks. Ross Neal though on the ball. Well, it was going to be Ross Neal on the ball. Um, the game's crashed, I think. Oh. Well, that's great. That's just bloody marvellous. Um... That's a bit unfortunate. I haven't seen that before. That's a little bit of a shame. Hmm. Oh well. Um. I'll get to the. I'll get to the. I'll get to the career mode screen again, and then decide what to do now. What I'm going to do, in the interest of fairness here, um, I'm going to keep the teams the same as they were, and just simulate this time out and see how it finishes. Oh, looks like Sail Sharks could get a result, and they do. Oh, well, that's a bit gutting. So, in the story, it uh, all changes. I mean, we're on for a win there, but I thought, you know what, we'll simulate. It's only fair. Um, it did crash there, so I wouldn't want to influence the result. And unfortunately, as you can see, Sal Sharks massively boom up the league. That's amazing. They must have... Ah, to be fair, we have got a game in hand on them, which is fair enough. But our first loss for a while then, in that case, after that simulated match. But we beat Wasps, Exeter... And we drew with Saints. That was the team we drew with before. Right. Okay. Um, so apologies about the little bit of a shorter episode than you might have been expecting. But that's what I just wanted to do. So that's what we will do. Um, interesting. We're apparently playing on Christmas Day. Okay. We'll take that. Um, but we'll play next episode against Gloucester. First off away from home. Followed by a match against London Irish. London Irish are a long way down the league. But Gloucester um, are in fourth. But a little bit of a shame about that episode. Because I think we'd have got two more wins. And probably propelled ourselves a little bit further um, up the tail. But to be fair, if we can get a win in our game in hand, that will propel us pretty much to, I'd say, about the same position as the Saints and Tigers group. Um, and if we get a bit of momentum going, we can certainly get me tab And there's plenty of time to go. So hopefully we can uh, do something. But if you enjoyed that, uh, despite it being a little bit of a shorter episode, please leave your like down below. I'd be really appreciative of that. As I said, if we can get to 15 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. Um, also, comment your thoughts on the uh, Rugby 20 game and anything you want to talk about, and particularly my technique and how I can improve. And also subscribe for regular Rugby 20 content on the channel. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Goodbye for now.